This video gives an overview of the reinforcing for the beams and raised slab. The basement walls, pilasters, and columns have embedded rebar extending from the last phase of the work. These bars are bent to be tied to the rebar for the raised slab and the new concrete beams. The formwork system is attached to the basement walls and supported by the slab on grade below. This is the formwork for the beams. With the steel formwork system shown for this construction, the beam forms are bolted together from smaller metal panels to form the trough in the shape of the beam. The forms for the collar beam above the wall are clamped or bolted to the wall, and a system of props and spars are used to support the beam forms. The elevation for these forms are referenced to the work point. This is where the string lines or lasers or some other level link technology is used to set the bottom of the forms from some known reference point. Since the panels are vertical and horizontal, a form liner is used to give the column caps a shape. I show the beam forms placed before the slab forms mostly for clarity. Having the beam forms in place means the rebar for the beams and the column caps can be placed in the troughs from work platforms or scaffolding. The rebar that can't be placed by hand is bundled or assembled and then lifted into forms with a crane. Once in place, they can be tied to the sides of the form to keep them off the bottom of the forms, or chairs can be used under the bottom rebar to raise that bundle off the form. In this illustration, the forms for the raised slab are added to the beam forms once the rebar for the beams are in place. The slab forms are installed from below and supported by adjustable props and spar similar to the beam forms. A wire mesh or an array of rebar is then added to reinforce the raised slab. This rebar is tied to both the beam and column cap rebar to finalize the assembly before the pour.